12 schools drawn from across the country, 6 from senior secondary school and 6 from basic cycle school, took part in the skills competition aimed at promoting civic education among youth in the Gambia. In his welcoming remarks, the Regional Education Director for Lower River Region stressed the need for the introduction of civic education in lower basic schools. We envisage and it's our desire to start developing TVEC or introducing TVEC at grade four. Because education is a continuum. You cannot just jump into it. We have certain schools that are pioneered to be a springboard for the senior secondary technical schools we are established. So that those students from those senior secondary schools would serve as feeder to USET, the University of Science and Technology that has been established by the Gambia government. Madam Fatu Jane, government focal person for the Youth Empowerment Project, spoke of government's positive stance in fostering skills development as well as increasing interest in civic education. So that when you finish uh, from uh, the basic and secondary education, you'll be able to choose careers in higher education so that you become engineers and you'll be able to attract big contracts, then our monies will stay, our GDP will raise, rise. This is the way forward, and I'm sure we are all in this together. Amadou Jallo, UNESCO rep, said the material awarded to winning schools worth over a million dollars all year towards enhancing civic education in the country. The Gambia National Commission for UNESCO, in collaboration with the Ministry of Higher Education, Research, Science, Technology, successfully established TVET clubs across several schools in the country and bought materials and tools that strengthen the learning of TVET skills uh, and on the metalwork, art and craft, and home science. These materials are worth close to a million dollars and are distributed to beneficiary schools. The distribution is still ongoing and from this award ceremony, the team will be dispatched to make further distributions. Each of the beneficiary schools had identified the technical tools they wanted this project to buy for them they sent the Gambia National Commission for UNESCO a list of tools that were numbered in order of their needs or scale of preference, and the materials were bought subsequently. This ceremony also availed delegates the opportunity to look at the exhibitions prepared by students during the competition. Prizes were presented based on individual performances First position for skills awards is $20,000, while second winners receive $15,000, and third position went home with $10,000. One of the award winners, Fatumata Sedi, from SO Basic Cycle School, and the teacher coordinator, Sena Faibite, both expressed delight for winning the awards in home science and arts and crafts. They call on government to provide vocational centers in the country, especially in rural Gambia, to better promote this sector. Usman Balde, GRTS News.